Hello there, my name is Marla Hegel. I'm the owner and designated broker of Windermere Real Estate on beautiful Camano Island in Stanwood, Washington. Today, I'm here to discuss August 2022 Market Insights. The month of August ended on Camano Island with an average sale price of $812,238. There were 84 active listings at the end of the month, and there have been 272 homes sold year to date. Those homes were on the market an average of 17 days and sold at 2% above list price. Let's take a look at Stanwood. The average sale price at the end of August was $721,374. There were 71 active listings in Stanwood at the end of the month, and there had been 317 homes sold year to date. Those homes were on the market an average of 16 days and sold at 2% above the list price. Let's look at that 272 homes that sold on Camano Island. Only 7% were below 400,000, but about 14% were between 4 and 500 and 18% were between 5 and 600. There were 25% between 6 and 800. 12.5% between 8 and a million, and 23% above a million. So last month, the above a million portion of our chart was the largest. This month, the 6 to 800 is the largest, and we'll talk a little bit about why that is later. In Stanwood, there have been 317 homes sold year to date, and uh, again, only 4% below 400,000, 18% between 4 and 500, 28% between 5 and 600, 25% between 6 and 800, 11% between 8 and a million, and 13.6 or 14% above a million in Stanwood. This August versus last August, the sale prices have continued to increase. Camano Island is up 14% average sale price from where it was last August, and Stanwood is up 17%. If we look at the 10-year average sale price trend, so the average sale price back in 2012 was right around 250000 If you would have bought a home back then for 250000 Today, 10 years later, according to the chart, it would be right about close to 750,000. So that's a lot of appreciation. There's been some, you know, the trend is our friend, but there have been a few little recessions in there along the way because recessions do happen. But overall, over time, um, re real estate does appreciate um, very nicely in this case. If we look at Camano Island, the month of August, there were 42 new listings added compared to 58 listings added last year at this time. That sounds absolutely backwards to me because last year at this time, I remember feeling like there was no inventory. Things were selling so quickly that uh, even though there was 58 listings added in August, those got sold very quickly. So when we took the temperature of how many listings, it felt much lower. Well, this year, 28% fewer listings were added, but we have a lot more listings that are um, hanging out in inventory, not having sold yet. Uh, pendings were down 40%. 25 went pending this year versus 42 last year. That just uh, is what I was just saying. Less are, are selling and pending this year. And solds in the month of August were 45 compared to 41. We have about two months of inventory. So that means, again, if nothing else was listed from this point on, it would take us about 1.8 or two months to sell the homes that are on the market. Still definitely a seller's market. Same with Stanwood, 1.9 months of inventory, um, definitely uh, mirroring um, the two markets are marrying each other in that respect. Uh, new listings added, look at this, 42 compared to 73 last year in Stanwood. So that's down 42%. Same scenario as Camano. Um, last year at this time, it felt like there was no inventory, but look at, there was a lot more listings added. Pendings, 32 compared to 61. And solds, 36 compared to 57. If we look at market share, um, this shows that Windermere is continuing to sell the majority of the homes on Camano Island. We love what we do. Uh, 348 sales uh, 
during the last 12 months on Camano and 233 sales during the last 12 months in Stanwood. So to sum it up, August 22, 2022 in Stanwood and Camano Island was in August with market conditions similar to what we experienced in pre-pandemic times. Sales volume has dipped a little in our area, which is common for August, but the average sale price is continuing to hold steady. Many of the homes that are going under contract are in the affordable and mid price ranges. Buyer's demand is still high as some would like to find a home to buy before fall sets in. New listings. Camano Island had 42 new listings hit the market in August. This is a 28% decrease from last year. And Stanwood experienced a 42% decline in inventory from last August with 42 new listings compared to 73. That's a lot of 42s in there. However, this is where it gets so interesting. On August 31, our inventory count of homes available on the market was up 125% over this same time last year with 155 active listings in our two zip codes. Pending sales, Stanwood and Camino Island both saw fewer pending sales compared to last year with 57 sellers accepting offers on their homes compared to 103 last August. So that's why there's more inventory is because there's less homes going pending. So they're sitting on the market. So when we do our count at the end of the month, we have a higher volume than last year. And homes sold, there were 81 homes sold in zip codes 98282 and 92 in August. 45 sold on Camino and 36 sales in Stanwood. This is a 13% year over year decrease. Despite the fewer sales, the average sale price still rose. Here's some advice to sellers. We believe that inventory will continue to grow, leading to more competition in the market as we head into fall. You will need to be realistic about pricing and follow the advice of your agent regarding preparation of the home and positioning in the market. Buyers, here's a quote from Windermere's chief economist, Matthew Gardner. He predicts prices will drop further as we move into the fall, but reports that we are entering, but reports that we are entering a buyer's market are highly exaggerated. The market is simply reverting to its long-term average as it moves away from the artificial conditions caused by the pandemic. What he's saying is this August that we just saw is very similar to August in 2019. Um, August usually isn't our busiest month. Uh, people are returning to school, settling down from the summer. Um, so it's very, very normal. So things are continuing to normalize. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we are all in for you here at Windermere and reach out if you have any questions about the market stats. Thank you so much.